Okay, guys, we're back with Axel. So I've got him out with this group. I'm sure you've already seen the movie. Axel bothers Lucy. That was a good one. I'm loving my dog behavior series. Anyway, part of what he's got to learn is, one, to be aware of what's going on around him and not overreact every time a dog comes running. And that is a learned behavior. Axel and, good boy, and we got to try to get him some different treats. Girl, he's not, he's not as interested in the treats as he needs to be. All right, come on. So I do want to push him a little bit with a dog like this, and I have done a little bit of continuous with him. You do want to do some continuous with him. Axel, good. So I'll tell you, good. with doing too much of it is you get dogs that don't have a fluid recall. They tighten up. You need to go like on a little exploration back there. Don't Let's do it's it. Like, Let's do it. No. <laughs> spiders. No, there's no she's spiders her though. Head, but she's saying, okay. Sure. Yeah, I've already talked to her. There's a key component to successful people and she has it, but ready to do whatever. Strike out. Uncharted land. So I'll tell you what I'm doing right now, and I'm kind of fiddling with my, I'm making sure, I'm making sure I'm ready to turn my nick up if need be. What are the, do you know what they're called? No. Weeds? No. <laughs> Kelly thinks every flower is a weed. Into the woods. Ay, ay, ay. What are they after? Look at them go. <laughs> Axel? Good boy. Good boy. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to figure out some different treats. She's starting to get a little hanky right there. Oh, look at them all go. Those purple flowers are everywhere. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, absolutely. It's beautiful. pretty. Yeah, that, that video you shot the other day, you were kind of... That would actually... Right on the yellow cool. flower. I remember. It's kind of voyeurish. Over there. It's kind yeah. of voyeurish. <laughs> through the trees. That's what I hear. So you can see how well he's doing. You know, and a lot of it is I'm setting a decorum. All right, let's go back. Because if there's one thing he loves, it's to run and play. Oh, at least the bulldog will be tired. <laughs> Maybe. That's pretty good. It across the whole way. There was just one on Facebook that the people were doing for adoption because it had too much energy. Aww. I can empathize. Look at that guy. He's <laughs> a trooper. Twice so strong. Its day starts at 4 in the morning. I, I will add it now at some later point. All right, let's go back out here a minute. I'm going to show you how we're going to start pulling all this together. Oh, he's definitely the odd man out in this group. And we're going to do uh, we're going to do one all shepherd one. I haven't really had him out around Elliot and Andre yet, but. Um,
<gasps> OMG. Smack up. All right, do we have a leash? Yeah, here. Oh. Axum. I'll tell you what a lot of Axel's problem is. It's on the leash. Because the leash to him, you can see already, he's starting to sort of bow up. And I'm going to tell you what, if you want one to get defensive, start tightening up on the leash like this. Better yet, go like this. It's already doing it to him. So again, I don't want... He's already got kind of gone. I want to be very deliberate. Sorry, I had to do that. Neighbor dog. You know, but I had already, the reason this is a little bit easier, because I had already said down there we don't have a problem with these individuals. And I'm not telling him to heal or anything yet. And I'm going to tell you why you've got to hook the leash to the electronic collar. That's how I know when to hit the nick when the leash gets tight. How else am I going to know? How else am I going to know? So then what I'm going to have to start adding is my down. <laughs> so I had to do that. way of doing it too. He just, he fought it, he consciously fought it. And I'm not going to put the food down there right now just because he's not that interested. He consciously fought it, but when he did give in, I'll throw, I'm not trying to combine it with my heel or anything yet. I just wanted to understand. That's what I do. That's who I am. I just start doing that. I just start saying, down. Oh, good boy. At the most inconvenient times, down. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna let him know at some future point. This is not optional. This is a great, great dog though. You, you almost never go wrong when you're getting a, a, a well-bred dog. I, we don't see it. Also, again, I'm not trying to get him healing or anything yet. I'm just getting him to understand the way I act. And the way I act is I suddenly just start putting my foot on the leash. Axel. Right. And, and I don't quit from there down. And what I'm saying, really, with my behaviors, this is normal. I'll tell you what's normal. So that later, when something happens, that's not outside the bounds. When some dog gets loose or whatever, there's another dog around. What we're doing is within the bounds of normal behavior. All right, guys, it's doing great. Bye.